Today, we visit a miraculous crucifix and see a grander version of the ceiling we saw at Santa Maria in Domnica, a ceiling inspired by the litany of Our Lady. Come with Crux Stationalis and discover the churches of Rome. Welcome back to Crux Stationalis, the Roman Station Church Network. We visit the Roman Station Church for the Wednesday after the first Sunday in Passion Tide, San Marcello al Corso. It sits directly across the street from another Roman Station Church, Santa Maria in Via Lata. The church is a 16th century conventual and titular church on 4th century foundations. It houses this chapel of the crucifix, which is deemed miraculous. The crucifix survived a fire in the night of May 22nd, 1519. The church was almost completely destroyed, but from that moment, the crucifix became and still is the object of great veneration, as it miraculously remained unharmed in the great fire that destroyed the church. Three years later, in 1522, a serious plague epidemic spread throughout the city. The Cardinal titular of San Marcello al Corso organized a solemn penitential procession in which all categories of people participated. Clergy, religious, nobles, knights, men and women, the elderly and children. During that procession, which lasted 16 days, the crucifix was placed on a carrier and processed through all different districts of Rome ending up at St. Peter's Basilica. Shortly after that, the plague ceased to ravage the city. This is the same crucifix which was brought to Piazza San Pietro for the extraordinary Urbi et Orbi blessing held on March 27, 2020, during the government lockdowns. As we prepare to move into Holy Week, we come across this series in the upper clerestory of San Marcello, frescoes by Giovanni Battista Ricci. Our hearts and our minds are lifted up and set to the sacrifice of the Passion. We move around the church from the gospel side nearest the altar and process through the story of the Passion and Resurrection of Christ. We encounter Christ in the garden, bound by soldiers. Then we see him crowned with thorns, and here presented as ecce homo. Ultimately, he is rejected by the onlookers and crucified for love of you and for me. As we return back to the altar, we encounter the sorrows of Our Lady. It is as though she is saying to us, Look, look what your sins have done. Look at my son. You have slaughtered the lamb, but he has taken away your sins. And here we see Christ going down into the depths of Sheol to gather the just of centuries past. And on the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. And here the apostle to the apostles, Saint Mary Magdalene, the first to step into the empty tomb of Christ, fails to recognize Jesus until he calls her by her name. And after 40 days he ascends to the Father and sits at his right hand in glory. I walk into this Roman station church and am struck by one thing, the way in which Mary can be so present in the art and the architecture. Here we have the chapel of Our Lady of Sorrows, and in conjunction with the rest of the church, I can't help but see how Our Lady points us to Christ, especially points us in the time of Lent and Passion Tide to His Passion, Death, and Resurrection.
and across from the Chapel of Our Lady of Sorrows, we have the Chapel of Our Lady of Graces, with scenes from the life of the Blessed Virgin by Francesco Salviati, and the altarpiece housing the small 14th century icon of the Madonna and Child. And here, yet again, we see the work of Our Lady in the life of the seven holy founders, who are found here in the main altar piece of this chapel, along with the scenes of the Pieta and of Christ carrying his cross and meeting his Blessed Mother along the way. And finally, we remember the ceiling of Santa Maria in Domnica, which has a ceiling not dissimilar to this one, a litany to Our Lady, emblems depicting her titles, are spotted throughout the ceiling. We look up and seek her intercession. Thank you for joining us at the Roman Station Church for Wednesday of the fifth week of Lent. Don't forget to subscribe to Crux Stationalis and like this video and share it with your family and friends. I'll see you tomorrow.